Hello everybody, 1980s Miner's Briefcase here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another gas mask. And uh, I thought I was done with them. Uh, it occurred to me that I not only forgot one, but also I had two orders coming. Uh, and I wasn't even joking about the briefcase, I actually found a fucking briefcase with Save Our Pits, Campaign for Jobs and Recovery, and all the rest of it. It's all mine affiliated. It was just tossed out onto the street, someone probably died. With some tools, and a bunch of old fucking miners lamps. They're basically useless, but... I think they'll look cool when we use them for videos. Right, so today we're going to be looking at something quite interesting, as you can probably tell from the title. Why should I even bother with decorum when you've already read it? So, this is a Hungarian 75M. We covered it on the channel before. There it is in all its deformed glory. Uh, what did I call it? One step forward, two steps back. Something like that. I think I said in the description, up, downgrade. I often just put one-liners in the fucking descriptions. Yeah, still smells like shit. And there's your shit bag. And there's your filter. I shouldn't say the shit, I actually really like them. I do love the Hungarian gas masks. And uh, a little bit of a story while I try and keep my kneecap out of frame. I put a bid on eBay for a hooded gas mask. Uh, I thought nothing of it at the time. I just thought, oh, that's a... Uh, what's in the title? I was like, oh, that's a experimental 75M, isn't it? I heard about those on the wiki. And I thought, I'll just put down a max bid of 50. It'll go above it. Worst case scenario, I win. And then no one actually bid above 50. I think people tried to get a bargain and then wonder why they didn't win it compared to someone who was willing to pay a lot. It's because pay what you want to. And I thought, I'd pay 50 quid for that. And the six quid poster, who gives a shit? It wasn't even that, wasn't it? Just like... Anyway over here, or unceremoniously draped. Here it is, it's nothing special. Like I said, it is an experimental series of masks. I'm not sure if it is an experimental mask itself. Um, while they are rare in theory, you know, you could say the XM28 is rare, but then that's no XM40, which are you know, experimental masks again. So, I'm not sure on the rarity of these, um, weapons and stuff, 93, sure as shit hasn't covered one. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has one of these on YouTube, but uh, there's certainly one on the wiki, which was taken from uh, one of those old forum type pages. It did come with this, I've put caps on it to get those off, they're just old Arbin ones. Uh, the filter does not match it, because of course it used the... 70M filter, which I've got an unopened one there. Uh, I've got this uh, Arbin lid stuck on it. There we go. Right. This is not the filter it's meant to come with. This is a German filter. I thought, okay, it looks like shit because it's covered in yellow paint. I don't even want it. But then I realised it actually says something. That's actually written. Yeah, that's actually a word, apparently. I don't know what it says. Uh, I posted about it on the gas mask wiki, no one helped me out. Uh, it just says ZF. And then of course, that would be a batch number and... Uh, stop, or, you know, production number. No dates. My thought is it's just a fucking old training filter. Like an old M65Z type. It's hard to tell because Germany's been using this shaver filters for years. Like I said, I posted it on the wiki, gas mask wiki. Just look up... German filter on the r slash gas masks. Why did I say wiki? r slash gas masks subreddit. I asked the r slash gas mask subreddit. So the mask is the fucking same as this. Uh, you may notice that it's a later model because of course they were later. They don't have the uh, same materials used as much. It's only for canvas but the metals are different. Also they wouldn't have this band covering that there. Supposedly this was a last ditch effort in a way to make the gas mask, which was already obsolete by this point, uh, better for heavy decontamination. You know, work well with the NBC suit, and I can see that because this is a. Uh, yeah, I'll let you listen to it. Hold on. Bit of ASMR there. I don't know how good my lighting is, but uh, it's very rubbery and soft. It's nice to touch. Uh, Hungary is good at making. Nice gas masks with comfortable rubber. Just look at the 70M, delightful. I don't know why people say it's bad. It's got a funny smell to it. Because apparently this is open old coating. 
Uh, inside is a pretty basic canvasy material. You'll hear it pop and crackle at times, but I'm not ripping it, I swear, because you can see there where it's been sat for years and part of the rubber has fused. But you can, I'm not going to do it, but you could easily pull them apart without ripping the rubber. Like, it wouldn't be hard. This isn't that kind of material. Obviously, it would get cut easily, but nothing to worry about. It's got a lot of glue missing parts. I thought someone cut it when I got that. I thought, oh, that looks like a knife mark. No, it's just rub uh, glue. <laughs> the glue sealant has dripped everywhere on this. As you can see where it's gone under there. Like, like I said, these are experimental. So it's interesting that I wound up owning an experimental mask um, that I didn't particularly actually want. So I am actually going to be selling this off to a centrifugal regulator, who was actually the guy who helped me out back when I wondered what this was, uh, compared to people just trying to be snarky and saying, oh, you know, you're being lazy. And I admit I was. Just at the time, I was really confused by the differences because I, like, I hear some people calling it 75M, 76M, M76, M75. So many different ones. I'm like, what's the difference? Please help me. Uh, I think my favourite comment was, here you go. And it was a link to um, a GIF. And it was like, use one of these. And it was like, Google, Wikipedia, Bing, all this shit. And I was like, okay, that's actually gold. Can't stay mad at that, can you? It's got in little bits like this. And again, I thought, oh no. It looks damaged. It's got little bits of white sticking off, but no, it peels right off. It's some, I think, spider's webbing. Because whoever has kept this, you can see by all the creases, it's been sat in a shed for probably 20 years. This is marked uh, DR, very small D, very large, capital R, 1988 I.N, Mark 11. I'm assuming that's March, 20, uh, March 11. And this weird symbol here. I don't know what that is. Uh, so there you go. That's quite interesting. I'm going to invert the mask for a moment. It's actually surprisingly rugged, so I don't need to worry about that. Because um, the sizing would be printed on the forehead of these masks, bear in mind you can't actually see the fucking forehead, so it says size 1 on the inside. Very nice uh, soft goat rubber again, I hear it's goat, uh, goat leather. Goat rubber? Interesting. Uh, straps are actually in good condition this time around, look at that, they're nice and shiny compared to rusted and fucked up. This does not fit me as a mask. Uh, I'll probably actually break my rule of not showing me wearing it uh, outside, so see how that goes. But uh, the mask won't be on, it'll just be the hood. Like, it'll be sitting vaguely in front of my eyes. Okay, that's a size 1, and this is a size 3. Yeah, if the size 3 didn't fit me, the size 1 sure as shit won't. Why did I think you could see that? Sorry. Um, I forget that I'm showing this on my knees and not on the table. Chin strap, it's everything that I went over the 75M. The only difference is, it's a little bit cooler. I do love the colour, uh, that's about it. It's comfortable, it's soft, it's supple. The way the rubber's been leaking around there does bother me a bit. It's a little bit rough around the edges, you can see where seals haven't quite gone well, but I'm surprised that for sitting on the fucking coast of England, where I bought this from, uh, it's not, like, poked holes in. It's just, it was a little bit dusty. Uh, it was packed with some serious love. I have never received a package so well packed in my whole fucking life. <laughs> yeah. so, very beautiful and interesting mask. Um, again, it's just a 75M where they've basically glued it on and then reinforced it around the lenses and the mouthpiece. Inside of it is just the normal mask. You can flip the hood forward and see the mask inside. I'm not sure if I did demonstrate that. But there you go. Look, you can see it just there. And uh, while I said you can't see the number on the forehead, you would be able to, in theory, just pull it forward enough. But I don't want to, because, like I said, I'll be passing this along to Centrifugal Regulator. I don't expect to double my money, but I do expect to at least make some back. So He's going to take care of it, hopefully. What's interesting is that he's in Hungary, and he 
didn't have one of these. I found that really strange. Like I would have thought someone else would have had one of these. I don't deserve to have this then. If it's some rare experimental, I'll be passing it along. Um, what's the usual thing I do? Don't I test it with a hose? I forget, it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these. We upload them way later than I actually record them, I think. I think the latest one I did was the uh, M2. I always think these look like flies when they've got that on. Like I said, I won't be selling off the filter, I'll hang on to that, unless explicitly stated that it's wanted. I'll probably toss in my unopened 70M there. Alright, that doesn't screw in, so... Because that'll be... What do Germans use? Do Germans use Stanag threading? can't remember. But yeah, anything I said about the 75M, go look at that. It's just that, but a little bit better, and I rambled on for over 10 minutes. I don't even get ad revenue, you know. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a very interesting mask. Like I said, I'll probably go and show what it looks like in the garden. So, I don't know. We'll see.